What's up guys? I'm Carol from Jumping Places. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I usually take on our beach getaways. Like when we go to some beach destination for a week or uh, 10 days, something like that. Uh, I'm going to start with my big backpack. Not so big, it's a 15 liter backpack. So this is the day pack that comes with the, my bigger backpack, which is the Osprey Fairview. This little one, the day pack has only 15 liters, so that's uh, everything that I take together with this purse. I'm going to show you what's inside this first. Here I have a locker and I think it's very important to keep your things safe. So here I have a mosquito coil. We, we usually take this because when we go to some beach destinations, especially here in the Philippines, there are many mosquitoes. So we like to use this to, <laughs> to take the mosquitoes away from us. Here I have my kind of toilet, toiletry bag. I have shampoo, oh, um, deodorant, I have this uh, some protect cream for my hair that I use as a leave-in. I have here also conditioner, razors, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, and a hair comb. These products are a little bit big. Uh, I'm only taking them because I'm, he I'm here in the Philippines, so I don't have the like the smaller versions. But if you can bring the smaller versions, it's gonna be even lighter your backpack, of course. Like this one is big. You can fly with this in your carry-on luggage. So next thing is my kanga in Portuguese. It's uh, like a beach towel. This is something that we use a lot. You can buy, I don't know, in many like beach uh, hoods places that sell stuff for beach, beach, beach related stuff. <laughs> uh, next thing here is the sun cream, very important. And mosquito repellent, very important as well. Here I have the goggles that we take. You can usually rent in the places that you go, but we have many issues when we rent. Sometimes it doesn't fit well, and we just prefer uh, taking our own goggles. Here I have a rain cover. We already used it, so usually when, when we bought it, it was like a small package, but now it's like this. Now we are here in the Philippines and it's rain season, so we use this a lot because you never know when it's going to be like a rainstorm or something like that. So depending where you're going, if it's a tropical place, this can be very useful. Here I have toilet paper because you never know. Sometimes you go to a toilet that it's like a, it's not a not in a, in a proper hotel or something, so you may not have toilet paper in the toilet. So here I have a power adapter. This one it works for many uh, regions like UK, Europe and US. So it works for different outlets. So you also have the USB inputs. Here I have the, my, my phone cable and this is also very useful which is a power bank so sometimes you go for the whole day out and you don't have a, a place to charge your phone or something so this is very useful for us here I have some makeup stuff it's, uh, it's not my usual big makeup bag I only brought some specific things but to be honest I don't use them every day just rarely but let's let's say if i want to go to a beach party at night or something i want to put some makeup i have a foundation highlighter setting powder this is good because you are usually sweat uh, sweating a lot so this helps to keep your face uh, like not wet all the time lipstick browsing powder mascara brush and eyeliner but of course the makeup stuff is usually up to you what you like the most what you can leave at home or what you really need another thing that we usually take is a microfiber towel if you're going like a like a budget place a backpacker place they don't offer towels so we usually take this and the good thing about a microfiber towel is that it dries very fast 
so yeah it's good and it's very light small now I'm gonna start with my clothes I have two packing cubes one very small this extra small and this small and these guys are very good because they can make your clothes compact so you can put more clothes inside of a backpack like this you you, you can see that it's very small but I can bring many stuff because mainly because these these packing cubes are very good for compacting your clothes so I'm going to start with this one just to show how many clothes I take so I have one bra one bikini but I have others in the other the other packing cube and here are my clothes I have one two three four tops and this one five tops in total I have pajamas as well uh, some people don't like don't care about wearing pajamas at night but I like to, to sleep with pajamas I have uh, hippie pants it's like a very light pants and uh, I like to wear it at night uh, because sometimes it's, there are many mosquitoes so I, I wear this pants to avoid getting bitten in my legs and I also have another short I am wearing one as you can see and I have another one in my packing cube and in the smaller packing cube I have one two three four five panties another pair of uh, bikinis very very compact could still put more more clothes here as you can see but that's enough for me and I also have another bikini here in a plastic bag because I used this yesterday so it's important that you also take a plastic bag or something that you can put your wet clothes and also dirty clothes you don't want to mix them together in the same place so another bikini here I have this thing where I put my documents passport waterproof and fireproof so it's very safe I think it's like this but uh, I just fold it it's very light as well small and in the front here I have some medicines Imodian it's good for diarrhea it's important to take this I think uh, painkillers and also allergy pills because sometimes I, I get like an insect bite that gets like a big allergy so I, I need to take some allergy medicine and also earphones and yeah basically it's some um, band-aids something like that and regarding shoes I I'm only taking my flip-flops in this vacation because it's like a closed place I don't I didn't need to take a airplane or, or anything so flip-flops is enough for me but I could easily wear trainers and put my flip-flops in my bag or in front because it's very thin and white so it really depends on you if you want to take a tennis shoes or trainers so here in my purse I don't have much it's just my sunglasses this is like wallet that's where I keep my uh, cards and money as well a mask also hand sanitizer yeah that's it another thing that we usually take me and my husband is a dry bag I have here so he usually takes with him the dry bag so I don't need to carry if you want to go kayaking or if you're going to a boat tour especially here in the Philippines sometimes we jump in the, in the, the ocean and this is very good and very um, resistant we've been using this like um, over a year and it's uh, still working very good and this you can buy in m many places like we usually want to go to like a uh, beach destination in Southeast Asia we usually see people selling this but it's not as good as this one I think or we already bought one last year in a, a beach store and it wasn't very resistant but it's better than nothing so this one and other travel gear that I showed here we have the link of them where you can buy that in our Amazon store so if you buy something there we are gonna get a little percentage of the sale 
and you're gonna just pay the same amount it's not gonna change anything for you so if you want to check our uh, Amazon store it's gonna be great and we don't have everything here but we just have a few gears that we show like packing cubes I think we have there and also this uh, day pack and other stuff yeah so the place that we came it doesn't get cold at night or anything so we don't need a, a coat or, or a jacket and but if you are going to a place that maybe at night gets colder or something you can take one but for here we don't really need one and uh, and if i needed to take maybe i could get a thin one and put in my bag or maybe just uh, wrap around my body or something if i don't have space but yeah i think that's it for this video of uh, this is usually what I take in small trips, like for a, a week or something, for a beach destination. I think I could uh, stay longer with this, uh, with my clothes and some and my stuff. If the place that I'm going has um, has some laundry service, so I could clean my clothes, and that will be it. So I think I could maybe stay for two, three weeks with all this stuff. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope this information was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.